Righto, here we are on the 1st of February 2016 and we're in the Max Annuals grazing experiment of the Lincoln University Dryland Pastures Group. We're looking at plot 8 in Rep 4 of the Max Annuals grazing experiment and plot, plot 8 is a Coxfoot plus Balanza pasture and of course it's got the subclover and the plantain in it. There's rather less plantain in these coxfoot pastures than in the ryegrass where the plantain has really taken off. In the background you'll see the um, 30 lambs grazing plot 16 which is the ryegrass plus plantain plus balanza treatment of plot 4. Currently there's about 15 1600 of green dry matter on offer in this plot but it's already been grazed once by the 40 lambs that are now have now been moved on. We'll now have a look at the the seedlings that have germinated between coxfoot clumps and here's, here's quite a, a big area of bare ground and we've got a great um, establishment here of subclover and it's at the first trifoliate leaf stage some of them Others are just coming through, like that little fella there. It's just germinated more recently, that one also. And there's another trifoliate. We often uh, rave on about how you need a thousand seedlings per metre square in a subclover based pasture. Well, actually, here we've got about um, 10 or 11 seedlings in this hundredth of a metre square quadrat and if you multiply that 10 by 100 you've got a thousand so that that's the ideal but of course you've got half the area covered by with these coxfoot and a bit of plantain um, as well but if all the bare ground areas were looking like this it would be um, just perfect regeneration but this is only the first of February and we really got to look forward to having uh, the ideal of a bit of rain every week through to mid-April or so when the temperatures are cooler and evapotranspiration per day is much lower. So what, what's happened now, while we've had 90 mils of rain in January, you've got to remember that we're losing about 4 to 5 mils a day while it's pretty warm through February unless we get a bit more rain to keep these young plants growing we're likely to have some um, false strike or deaths of these seedlings. It's interesting that we've got one or two seedlings of plantain here, so in this hundredth of a metre square area we've got one plantain seedling. Here's another one just, just here, there's two pointy cotyledons looking a bit like grass but they're both the same size so whereas grass would only have one first leaf and there's the, the first true leaf coming through just at the base or in this case there, that one, the first normally shaped leaf. This is a balanza plot and some of these smaller plants I think will be balanza. So the balanza seed is about eight, an eighth the size of the subclover seed and that looks like a balanza seedling there. 